Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Charlie Chooses. This book is written by Lou Peacock and illustrated by Nicola Slater. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And the spine says, Charlie Chooses. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Charlie Chooses. This is the title page. Charlie did not like to choose. He never knew what was best. So look, he's trying to figure out if he should wear sunglasses or maybe an umbrella. He's not quite sure. And Charlie always worried that he might choose the wrong thing. So look, he thought it was gonna be a sunny day and he did not take the umbrella and it ended up raining. Oh no. He could never choose between chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream, which sometimes meant that he had no ice cream at all. Look. His friends are all eating ice cream and he couldn't decide. So he didn't get any ice cream. And he couldn't choose between the polka dot underwear and the striped underwear. So he often did the easiest thing and wore no underwear at all. And bedtime was never easy because was it lights off or lights on? Maybe lights off, lights on. I can't choose, said Charlie, it's too hard. So sometimes he didn't sleep at all. Poor Charlie knew he would never be able to choose a present for his birthday. So he looked through a book for inspiration. The book was full of ideas. A banana, a race car, a top hat, Maybe an ant farm or a teddy bear, a guitar, a bucket of fancy dessert, a button, a pair of socks. I can't choose, said Charlie. It's too hard. Oh, he looks pretty sad, doesn't he? Charlie sat down on a park bench and suddenly he had an idea. So look, the sign fell on him and it says, rescue dogs, big and small, come to the shelter. That's it, said Charlie, a dog. A dog is the perfect present. And off he went to the animal shelter. The animal shelter was full of dogs. Look at all the dogs. There's big dogs and there's little dogs. There's long dogs and there's fluffy dogs. And there's hairy dogs and there's spiky dogs. There's so many different types of dogs. Some dogs were small and some were tall. There were fluffy and scruffy. There were white and black. There were merry dogs, and hairy dogs, and floppy dogs, and happy dogs. There were some long dogs and some strong dogs. There were some old dogs and some bold dogs and every other kind of dog. I can't choose, whispered Charlie. It's too hard. He started to leave. But then something waggy and shaggy, mostly white, but a little bit brown, scampered and jumped and dug a very big hole and ran and ran and ran right into Charlie's arms. Oh, said Charlie, I don't have to choose because this dog has chosen me. Now Charlie has someone who helps him choose ice cream and someone to pick the perfect underwear. And when it's bedtime, Charlie knows exactly what to do.
lights off and dog on the bed. Now, all Charlie has to do is choose a name. And look, he has so many different postcards. Patch, Tiny, Shadow, Lucky, Rusty, Dash, Toto, Pickle, Scout, Fluffy, Jet, Socks, Rascal, Bear, Pebble, Sunny, Snuffles, Sparkly. And who's going to choose the name? I bet the dog is going to choose which name he wants for himself. Oh, he did. He chose Sparky. That's a pretty good name. I like it. The end. So this book was called Charlie Chooses. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime, friends, and I'll see you next time.